We've been on for half a day now and already there's been great sessions on open banking and there's been sessions on operational efficiency, payment modernization and hopefully coming up blockchain. So those are the four main topics I think. And uh, with open banking, you know, that's been a theme for the last few years. And actually one of the presenters this morning said he thought open banking was 90% done. But a lot of firms were experiencing challenges with performance and with uh, availability and with features and so I think there's still a lot of work to do. Operational efficiency is a fairly new topic I think for this event but that seems to be really broad to, uh, you know, this week. And um, payment modernization which seems to be a theme globally that's really represented well here. And then it's heartening to see the main blockchain players here and I think blockchain is starting to finally become uh, you know, more prevalent in the industry. So I think Red Hat is here showing leadership in open source. And so Red Hat has been practicing open source for over 20 years and is now bringing open source leadership to the topics that actually that I just mentioned. So in open banking, one of the solutions that Red Hat has is an open source, open banking solution that we've that we're increasingly working with partners uh, around the world on. We recently launched an operational efficiency solution also based on open source and both of those solutions are underpinned by our hybrid cloud uh, offering. So Red Hat is really pushing open source hybrid cloud. So I think the main benefits of cloud for companies uh, are the flexibility and potentially the fast time to market that companies get from cloud and um, the ability to have on-demand services, uh, on-demand compute services really for the first time. I think the challenges are uh, finding the right people to make, to make that a reality can be quite difficult and actually often banks have to adjust their processes to enable the on-demand fast time to market uh, solutions to actually happen. So I think those are the main challenges. And when banks should use a, a cloud are really when they're looking at new businesses, looking at new markets, looking to launch new products, or just whether they're looking to upgrade their infrastructure, for example. So first of all, I think the fact that Red Hat products are open source means that they're very easy to start using. Um, so the software is actually free to download. You don't have to negotiate the licenses before you start using the software. So that makes it easy to start using our products. And then we have a consulting practice who are experts in our products who can help if you haven't been able to find all the help you need from the open source communities, which, which you probably would be able to. And in our consulting practice, we have uh, specialist services, like we have an open innovation lab, which helps companies uh, go on a journey towards working in a cloud native agile way and we have a number of services like that and then finally we have a lot of customer references we have a lot of customers who've already moved to hybrid cloud and our customer references will talk to our potential new customers about about how they've done it yeah so we have uh, two customer references that, that we like to talk about one is in the UK with Barclays where Barclays have been using uh, a bunch of Red Hat products and and as a result have streamlined their business processes in many parts of the firm to be more efficient and they've been able to um, do tasks with fewer people or do tasks more quickly and then broad, more broadly in Europe BBVA have, uh, have used a lot of Red Hat products as well in order to make their global processing a lot more efficient. Yeah. So I think the themes that I spoke about, the hot topics at the show, open banking, I think uh, open banking will become more uh, more talked about in the public and as more people use open banking the services that are expected will will increase and so there'll be more investment I think in open banking. In operational efficiency I think we're going to see more success stories there as more people move towards operational efficiency and both of those things are going to be underpinned by hybrid cloud and so again we're going to see more success stories with hybrid cloud and then I mentioned at the beginning that at this show blockchain was becoming more common and I think we're going to see companies starting to use blockchain really in for serious applications really for the first time.